So what we have to do is to make sure that things are tightly scheduled um, and that we bring people together at key points in time, especially people with particular skill sets. And it's in that way that we manage to achieve what many people will think is quite a remarkable, sometimes even a miracle. And I know regular members of the audiences are astonished sometimes that they've been in the theatre for um, two weeks ago and then they walk into the same space in two weeks and it's transformed. I joined the Questers Theatre when I was seven years old in the youth theatre and now I'm currently in the student group. Um, I love working in all aspects of the theatre. I work backstage, front of house, as I say I do bits and pieces of acting as well. Um, hopefully long term I'll become an acting member here, still be involved in plenty of productions and hopefully be able to share my talents elsewhere. Xiaomi and myself are doing the painting of these doors and uh, these doors will be the main thing the audience can see on the stage and all the characters will go in and out through this door during the performance. Xiaoming and Fong Fang are currently students at Ealing Hammersmith and West London College doing English as a foreign language studies. Fong Fang has been a member since early 2016 and this is now her sixth production that she's been involved with backstage. And part of her aim is to apply for the theatre production course at University of West London, commencing next September. So she's trying to be involved and engaged in as many different aspects of backstage production work that we can do here at Questers. It's too long, isn't it? It is, you see. But do you need to pull it up here? I don't think The girls so. need corsets, bum rolls, as much petticoat as they can wear, and the men need their heels. And if possible, the men also need their lace cuffs and their lace at their necks so that they get their necks nice and high and show off their lace. There are still bones in there. Let me let me release them. Don't take them out. Well they're poking out, they're gonna skewer up. <laughs> well push can we push them down? <laughs> You have to get the girls to remember before you put your corset on, you have to put your shoes on, your tights on, because you can't reach your feet once you've got your corset on. Um, but they really enjoy it and they really enjoy wearing different clothes and they're very appreciative. So it's fun doing it. Whether we actually get there by the first dress rehearsal or not at the present moment, I don't know. As they've got the structure of their garments, They've all opened out, they're all standing big with their arms in the right place because they're showing off their lace and they're showing off their jewels and they're showing off, basically. It's a great period for showing off. And as you can see, it's a piece of china, and in this case, actually made in China as well. And it's used when Lady Fidget takes a piece of rare ceramic from Mr. Horner's bedroom, and she's just been in his bedroom. And there's a double play on the word China in this very famous scene. It's often referred to as the China scene. And as you can see, um, it's got a fish motif on it, which in European art has often symbolized sexuality. So when you see the play, you'll um, understand the significance of this object. So I've just uh, backcombed the hair and sectioned it into a um, back bun. Uh, using a donut to create the shape and um, so we can apply weft t to create length for her because she doesn't have much length and right now using the hot sticks I'm just going to be um, doing little um, mini curls that were very apparent during that time um, around her face back here. This is great for me. Um, it is one of those things with costume and um, it, and the words and everything. It, it just helps get into that character. You know, you understand a little bit more about what was obviously they wouldn't have had this sexy equipment in those days, but um, it just adds <laughs> to the whole helping to get into character. 
and it's just it's just lovely I, I love it love getting my hair done so um, for a nice costume drama like this so uh, very good fun she's very grand my character Lady Fidget so it stands to reason she'd have quite um, juged hair shall we say so uh, yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun